Download, register, and log in to the Alpha ESS app. The homepage will display the SN of the user's bound devices and related data, home load, energy storage system, grid, and photovoltaic. The battery section displays real-time battery charge. If charging appears, it indicates that the battery is currently charging, showing the percentage of the charging amount. Solar power indicates the current photovoltaic generation, feed-in shows the real-time feed-in value, and load represents the current load consumption of the system. All four data points are real-time data. The statistics shown in the red box above reflect the total data for today so far, including load consumption, consumed, battery charging amount, charged, discharge amount, discharged, feed-in amount, feed-in, purchased electricity, consumed, and photovoltaic generation, generated. Self-consumed represents the current self-consumption rate of the system, while self-sufficiency indicates the system's self-sufficiency rate. You can also check through the app how much profit the system has generated for you and how much it has contributed to low-carbon efforts. In the home page, when you open the profit, statistics, and power modules, it displays data statistics, statistics, power statistics, power, and profit statistics, profit, for the selected interface. In the profit module, you can see the earnings for the chosen time period. The power module provides future weather conditions and analyzes current electricity usage against the sources of power with a line graph. The statistics module shows the self-consumption rate and self-sufficiency rate for the corresponding time period, along with visualizations of power generation, electricity purchases, and load data for specific dates. My system, you can view photovoltaic generation, grid electricity consumption, battery capacity, and load-related data. Solar, real-time power generation from solar energy. Grid consumption feed-in, real-time grid consumption feed-in power. Battery, real-time power charging or discharging the battery. Load, real-time load consumption. Your device, click to see device details, inverter information, battery information, meter information, and firmware information. This section displays the inverter model, rated PV installed capacity, rated output power, inverter serial number, SN, storage system PV installed capacity, and safety compliance information. Battery information. This section shows the battery model, battery installed capacity, available battery percentage, control box, and the serial numbers, SN, of all batteries. Meter information. Displays the model of the grid side meter, the meter CT ratio, and the meter model. Firmware information shows the current EMS version, BMS version, inverter version, inverter slave software version number, inverter ARM software version number, backup box software version number, top BMU software version number, ISO software version, BMU software version number, grid side meter software version number, and PV meter software version number. Select the system and click the settings button in the top right corner to access the function settings interface. From this page, you can enter photovoltaic information, meter information, charge and discharge settings, diesel generator control, dry contact settings, electricity pricing settings, and Wi-Fi management interface for more detailed and precise data configurations. Charging discharging setting, in this interface, you can modify and set the charging cutoff SOC and discharging cutoff SOC, as well as the execution cycle. During the specified time period, the battery will be forced to charge and will not discharge. Outside this period, the system will operate in self-consumption mode. To set the charging or discharging cutoff SOC, click on Charge and Discharge below for normal configuration. The discharging cutoff SOC can be set independently. These settings are only effective when connected to the grid. Generator control, you can choose whether to enable the diesel generator. 
In this interface, you can set the generator's rated power, frequency, and control mode SOC control, time control, or manual control. You can also define the operating SOC range, output mode, and battery charging power. Click Submit to save the relevant settings. Auxiliary contact setting, you can configure normally open and normally closed dry contacts. Select the corresponding channel to activate it. If you choose the control mode as ON, the normally open contact will remain closed during the specified time period and will stay open outside of this period. If you select OFF, the opposite occurs. The normally closed contact will remain open during the specified time and will stay closed outside of that time. If you select Auto, the normally open and normally closed contacts will operate according to your settings. Once the settings are completed, the time control function will no longer be effective. Electricity prices setting, you can configure parameters related to purchase and sell electricity, such as total investment and currency. Additionally, you can set the time periods and prices for buying and selling electricity to maximize your profits. Wi-Fi management, you can view relevant information about the Wi-Fi, including network type, Wi-Fi module SN, Wi-Fi software version, and Wi-Fi hardware version. Service. This section displays user service feedback information, including feedback that is in progress and completed. To create new feedback, click the yellow icon in the upper right corner of the interface. The new feedback form includes fields for feedback type, issue type, and device selection. You should fill in or select these according to your actual needs, and provide the contact information of the person submitting the feedback. Finally, submit the feedback information to complete the process. In the feedback type, you can choose either product suggestion or support ticket. After selecting product suggestion, you can choose the relevant category in the question type below and provide a detailed description of your suggestion at the bottom. If you choose to provide a support ticket, you can select from the following four issue types, system error, monitoring data anomaly, technical consultation, and other. You will also need to provide your system SN to describe the issue and can even attach photos, which will greatly help us resolve your problem quickly. After completing this, please fill in your contact information, including your email, country, contact name, phone number, province state, city, and zip code, so we can provide you with timely feedback on your issue. Documents. This section displays a variety of informational materials. You can choose between list mode or thumbnail mode at the top. In list mode, you can browse detailed information about all files, including file format, battery model, and source. You can also directly search for the information you need using the search box at the top. Thumbnail mode presents a flat, icon-based layout that categorizes the information for easier viewing. In thumbnail mode, you will find categories such as news center, installation instructions, installation videos, user manuals, QAMP, A, German instructions, Australian installation instructions, and testing guides. Me. Here, you can view and modify personal information such as your profile picture and email. The following features are available. Add a system, Wi-Fi configuration, basic information, system list, about APP, about Alpha ESS, switch theme, and logout. Add a system. You can enter or scan the SN code using the scan icon located to the right of the SN input box, and then fill in the corresponding check code information. Finally, click Submit. Wi-Fi configuration. During the Wi-Fi setup, ensure that the power indicator light on the Wi-Fi module stays on. Open your smartphone's Wi-Fi list, find the product hotspot, usually the product SN, and connect to it. Then, select your router and enter your router password. The page will show that the configuration is in progress, so please be patient. Basic information. You can toggle message notifications on or off. By clicking on account and security, you can modify your password or deactivate your account. Additionally, you can manually clear cache data, change the app language, or view our privacy policy. System list. 
you can search for and view the SN numbers and current statuses of the devices connected by the user. About App You can check for new versions and view your software update log to learn about the optimizations and improvements in the latest version. About Alpha ESS In this section, you can choose to contact us or view an introduction to Alpha ESS. In the Contact Us section, you can find relevant information about our headquarters and various subsidiaries. Switch Theme You can freely switch between the daytime theme and the nighttime theme based on your personal preferences. Message Displays all your current messages, notifications regarding customer complaints, and other relevant information.